Hi, I'm Gerilyn Gibson, and here is a short video of a lesson where we tried to improve the quality of a sticky walk. We're going to try to address three different techniques that can help improve the walk. First is understanding the following motion with the rider's hand towards the horse's mouth as they take the walk steps. Second is going to be the importance of not gripping with your knee and your thigh so that your seat bones can move. And last will also be the timing and the softness of the leg ache. Here we have right. Eliza so, and her lovely her gelding like donkey who sometimes starts off a bit sticky in the walk. Move this whip for the moment. Okay, carry your hand and your upper body like you want to be. Like, you, like you'd like to be if you were going down center line. Look over his ears. Good. All right, so now press your knuckles, both of them, into my arm. Just a little, not enough to move my arm. <laughs> okay, good. All right, now keep your upper body where it is. Okay, keep it where it is, but follow my hand. Don't lose the contact. Forward, okay, now back. Okay, forward, back. Now we're gonna go faster. It's like an amusement park ride. <laughs> Keep your, relax your collarbone, push your shoulder blade. You could halt for a second. Down. Yeah, there you go. Okay, follow, back, follow, back, follow, back. All right, and you're keeping your upper body like right where it should be, okay? Now, just like my hand was in front of you. Even shorter reins and your hands more forward. This is Donkey's sticky walk. Good. Now contemplate whether or not he thinks you're sitting in a very friendly way. Are you tight or are you loose? <clears throat> Good. Only ask for more walk when his inside hind leg is coming off the ground. Now, now, left leg, good. And you just touch and relax. Now what about the circle? that you get through this sticky walk. Press your hands towards his mouth. Every time one of the front feet goes forward, here, stretch up in your upper body a little bit. Every time one of the front feet goes forward, you press your hand two inches to the front. Yes, follow, follow, follow. And now ask left leg a little, and then give when a little bit and you do it. Take both knees and thighs and lift them off the saddle and follow with your hand. Keep them up. Good. Arms following. You shouldn't block. You follow his mouth. Reins shorter. Good. Shift your weight so that you're a little bit sitting behind your seat bones. Just a little and your arms stay in front. Good. Show me what happens if you turn both of your toes out and touch your spur on his side and then let it go. And then let it go. Opening the toe outward opens the knee and opens the hip and gives the rider a more swinging seat and the chance to very carefully place the leg gate against the horse's side. Deliberately and then release. Swallowing, don't lock up your shoulders. Good. Touch him really soft with both spurs and then relax them and see what happens. Oh, he's a good boy. Thank you. Now you're starting to, that's your walk. That's a good walk. Good, rein shorter. Arms following. If your arm follows really elastically, he won't care that you shorten the reins. And you just keep your fingers out his mouth. Good. Take both legs off the saddle. So you're just sitting on your seat bones. Good, and now turn your knees and toes out a little bit and just touch them with the spur. Just a little indication, yes. That's all it is, just a very clear, simple aid. Good. Good, range short, arms long. Take your left hand a little to the left and open your knee and thigh again, and a little spur, just a touch, just laying it against him without, just so it's a very clear, quiet indicator. Good, good. Good, now let him take the reins down into an extended walk, free walk. But you stay at his mouth, your arm still has to really follow forward with each front leg. 
Okay. Ah, oh, super. Super. And now keep those thighs like that so you're not gripping and you're just rolling along on your seat bones. Shorten the rein up. Shorten the rein up. Arms are super soft. When you shorten up, you're still gonna follow a big walk. Yeah, and then your th roll your thumb up and your pinky down. Follow the walk. Touch him with the inside leg and see what that does to his neck. Yeah, good job. And again, feeling on the outside rein, just a touch, and then touch him with your inside leg. And a little cluck, open your thigh. Um, and just, just a little tickle of the left spur. Just a lay, just touch him with it. Yeah, so, good. And follow the neck with your arm. Good, super. Good. If you are clever about always opening your knee and thigh a little bit before you even touch the horse with your leg, you will actually teach your horse to go forward when he feels the opening of the thigh and you don't even have to use your lower leg. Good. Now go rising trot and work around the ring a little bit. Do whatever you want, okay? Teach him this every day. So here we have a video of the moments when the rider's hand is a little bit locked and you can see up close how the distance between the rider's hand and for example the white saddle pad changes very little as the horse takes each step and that's one of the things we want to try to fix we need to have a little more motion following the oscillation of the horse's neck in the walk. Here we have the rider doing a better job pushing the hand forward with each step of the front leg of the horse, allowing him to walk more easily. And here you can see how it affects the quality of the walk with ground cover and swing through the back. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. You can find us online on Facebook or at finestressage.net.